Los Angeles, home of Beverly Hills Cop and Dylan's Grandma. It's the year of our lore 2019, and Dylan and myself decided to mosey on down to Burbank for a few days of TLC and TNA. 48-ish hours of pure unsupervised stupidity. Hey, Dylan. We made it. We made it. Good job. We made it. You finally figured that one out. We made it. <laughs> what are we going to do? Um, why don't you tell me where we're going to be? Well, what you should do first is take a dive in the pool because, you know, here in California, it's probably very cold. It's, uh, is it all right? 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, you can just tell. It's a <laughs> I thought you were, like, psychic for a minute. Like, yeah, it's very fucking cold, actually. Here, can you get the rubber ducky out? Oh, that thing is filthy. How long has he been floating out here? Years, I'd suspect. I have an idea. Uh -huh. Let's move away from this machine. All right, Dylan. So, all right, Dylan. <laughs> Dylan, Dylan, all right, Dylan, all right, all right, this is, okay. So, we're here, Yeah. obviously. Well, here. You're over there. I mean, I'm over here, you're over there. And we gotta figure out something to do. Now, we've been in California all of two seconds, right? Okay. Uh, because you can't count driving time, otherwise we'll have been here for millions of years. I say, we go to Disneyland. What do you think? What do you say? I mean, there's like so much better things to do. Like there's Knott's Berry Farm, right? Uh, a what berry farm? Knott's Berry Farm. More like not very good. <laughs> Universal Studios. Oh yeah, Universal Studios is like three blocks away over there. You can actually see it. Yeah, you can almost see it from here. Yeah, there's the, yeah, okay. Um, there's like escape rooms we could do, bowling alleys, ice skating. We can even just drive around, we can tour if you want. I mean, this is the city I grew up in, so. That's a great idea. But. <laughs> All right, Dylan, are you excited? <laughs> Fucking no. Who's excited about Disney? <laughs> I'm 22 years old. Hi there, nice to meet you. Dylan Pate, how you doing? I know you do, but that's what's part of your charm is Dylan wants to put his penis in everything. <laughs> that's what caught your eye? I want to be squirrel. I think I am excited. You know what I'm excited for? What are you excited for? Seeing all, their, all the families here spend thousands of dollars and their children act like entitled pieces of shit and their parents are just upset about it. The kids are crying. I can't wait to see that. All right, all right. We didn't actually make it into the park this time around. The main reason we even went was just to see Jordan, and at that point, we had a couple of hours to kill until he got off work. No, you gotta do it again. <laughs> Don't speak to him when he arrives. Stop talking, he can hear you. Shut so, up, he can't see, he doesn't know who I am. I'm not focused, I'm not focused. Get up now, get up. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I didn't, I'm not the one wearing uniform out of park. Well, no, we gotta go find Dylan now. I don't know where he is. I don't know. Like honestly, I've been looking for the past couple hours this and... This is this manic Disneyland here, coming back for a final and one and final appearance. I own Disneyland. One final appearance at your park, I love it. Is there anything else you can say that is relevant to uh, being the owner of such a well, large uh, company? Galaxy's Edge is gonna be a flop, I'm telling you that right now. It's gonna be yeah. big. Right, of course. Not big enough though. Um, and I need you to realize yeah. that when Galaxy's Edge opens, there's gonna be a meet and greet with Jar Jar. I think it's a great idea. It's what Mr. L Mr. Lucas personally told me, that he wanted a meet and greet with Jar Jar. I feel like now, Mr. Lucas didn't say anything. Are you doubting John A. Disney? I can't believe you right now. The amount of unprofessionality happening right here is insane. Well, I am at my own home. It's heartbreaking, you know? I mean, understandable, but you know, I honestly, I, I need you to get out of my face right now. I, I, what, what, no, 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 off it. After procuring our fine Mexican friend, we decided it was time to go find some food. After all, when in Rome, go to Olive Garden. Okay, what do you, 
Oh, yes, of course. All right, Jordan. Why are you guys following me? What do you mean? You were in the back of our car. Hey, you guys are following me. You followed us in our car. You were in You were in the back seat the whole no, time. you guys were, you're following me. I drove here by myself. I'm pretty sure I've got proof that you're the one that was been follow, ha, what? That tracks. Where'd you come from? Aren't you the mannequin? Yeah, weren't you the mannequin in the world of Disney? Ow. <laughs> God dang. Mm. Mm. What do you got there, big boy? Mm. How do you feel about that? Uh, I ask for it every day. Mm. You want to see me turn into a sprinkler? Uh, mm. no. Mm. No. Mm. no. No. Stop! Oh, God, it's already wet enough out here. Have you seen Cal- This is the weirdest California I've ever seen. You don't have to make it wetter, all right? I'm already pretty close. <laughs> and so, with our burgers eaten, our fries devoured, we decided it was time to leave Jordan where he sat and head on up to our next destination for the day. Dylan and I had to drive up to Burbank to meet someone that I've been trying to meet for the better part of 10 years. And then that's like their gate. It's just parking all over. See the silhouette of some palms over there. <laughs> probably, probably my house, dude. By my house, we're nowhere near my house. Where the fuck are we? <laughs> oh my god, no way, we found him. Holy shit. Wild, what's up? Wild. What's up? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. to meet you as well. Dylan, by the way. I'm out. Like, that's <laughs> yeah, that's Dylan. He's the driver. Whatever. <laughs> Eight years, we finally get to meet. <laughs> it's been a really, really long time. This is wild. I was like, damn, it's been eight years. <laughs> What's your name? You're really shiny for us. How you doing, bud? How you doing? You're really cute. I really like. I really like your. No, I wasn't talking to you. I'm talking about the the the. the, the talk about this one. The one on my right is significantly more attractive. I like how you do that with his feet. I can't even do that with my hands. Oh my god, I didn't look at that at all. No. <laughs> it's, like, it's behind the lens. And I was like, what? Are you oh yeah, he, <laughs> he definitely shoots on these. Like, this is weird, because I could see my entire arm. I was only, with the, the regular one on, I was only able to see, like, my fingers in the shot, like, bit from out here. I could see my fingers. That's like the YouTuber lens, but I don't, it doesn't fit my camera, so I can't even use it. But. Well, shit, yeah, that's, oh my god, that's so wild and weird. Yeah, I love it. Too. Well, yeah, it does have a bit of a zoom. Eight millimeters, two degrees. It's not by much, but you still get a pretty good image. I can see my entire hand. Can you see my entire hand? Mind-blowing shit. But wait. Robin's first appearance ever. <laughs> <laughs> told me to do like I just need you to jump up and hit the grass off the block that's it First. that's literally it <laughs> what do you think Dylan you think we have a career in Minecraft <laughs> that's what started it all <laughs> yeah I still sound exactly, exactly the same so this is Robin's first skit um, my first voice role <laughs> Which makes sense because I, I ended up going to film school. <laughs> I wouldn't have known at this time, but I organized a lot of these like machinima skits, mm. and I was like, Robin, voice actor these. And so this was the first one I got Robin to participate in. Like Craftians, our top of today's audio reverb, reverb. Yeah. attacks, and reaper runs. Plot wise, it's today we talk of making a better life. I'm sure Jason Statham made a movie like this. <laughs> Today we talk of instituting mod support for all Minecraftians. Yo, better speech down with Robin. the meta in the sphere. <laughs> It's so oh, it's so bad! It's so, bad. so good! Yeah. It was a great visit, honestly. We spent hours upon hours talking about where we've been, where we're going, and where we are right now. But, like all great things, it had to come to an end. So Dylan and myself said our goodbyes and then went home to sleep it off. After all, our trip wasn't done yet. Not even close. Oh, Dylan, what are you doing? <laughs> Dylan, are you peeing? Can we not right now? Oh, God, you're so gross. Get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. I'm out of here. This is ridiculous. Can't do this shit. How do you do this to someone?
With it being our last day, things started to wind down a little bit. But since the sun came out, we decided that we would grab a couple last minute shots and have ourselves some brunch at, well, my favorite restaurant in the area. Why? Because they have bottomless mimosas. Oh my god. Okay, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. <laughs> we made it. Oh, oh my god. Turn around, it's a fucking ticket, Robin. You need to fucking leave. I know. Look at that asshole. We made it. He has a gun. Will you come a little closer? Now, the trip may have been winding down, but there was one more thing that we needed to get done before we went back home. I had to get my first tattoo. Will you come and hold my hand now? I think that you might want to. Do you ever listen to Madonna? Yeah, I really like the freckle on her face. Oh. You're doing a great job. <laughs> no, 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 just for concentration. He does not like this. This is a fucking swingers party. I got none of that. Are you trying to say, candidate? You're a general in the picture. Good. I'm glad. How you doing? You're all right. Your side of the arm sucks. What are you doing? I thought it was funny. Oh, you thought it was funny, huh? Yeah. Thought it was real funny. Thought it was funny. Oh, you thought it was funny. Oh, yeah. Thought it was real funny. I thought I was real. I thought I was being real cool. It looks really good. Looks really good. I haven't seen any of the actual ink in there. Just the stencil. Yeah, I told my my mom, I was like, yo, I'm gonna get a tattoo while I'm down there. And she said, oh, cool, is it gonna say mom? Because her rule was always, my first tattoo has to say mom on it. I'm like, okay, that's fine, but you have to be the one to pay for it. That's gonna be the deal. She never agreed. I never agreed to it, but I guess the next tattoo has to say mom. Pretty much perfect. Oh, oh yeah. You were looking the wrong way. What? Into the lens. With passion and compassion. There was regret in that one. That's great. This is why I'm the photographer. <laughs> That's why I do all of that. With the tattoo being completed, it symbolized the end of another fantastic trip to Southern California, made even better by the fact that I got to meet up with some friends, including one that I have never been able to meet in person before. Now, I'm no stranger to taking trips to California, but I do have to say that this one stood out the most amongst them all. There was just something about this trip that made it that much more special to me. You see, for me, it's not about the experiences themselves. It's about getting to have those experiences with people that you care about. We may not have done monumental, crazy things this trip, but nonetheless, I got to meet people that I care about. I got to see people that I care about. And that will always mean more to me than anything else. What is that, a guitar? I have a guitar. I'll pay you with my, my slow jams. 